Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Bath Racecourse here on Friday. It is April 21st, 2017. Going to look at the third race from Bath, the uh, 6 o'clock post time. But before I get on to that, remember, please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The 6 o'clock post time from Bath, it's the Witzburg. Bury, Manor Stud, and EBF Stallions, Lansdowne Stakes. It's a Phillies listed stakes here, going for Class 1 horses, going for a purse of $49,000. That's an American currency, so don't get confused. Uh, it's for three-year-olds and upwards, Phillies Mayors only, which are EBF eligible. We have a field of 13 horses dashing the distance of ground of 1,000 meters or, or five furlongs on the turf course. My top pick in this one, I like the one horse priceless. I'm gonna go one five thirteen in the TriCast or the Trifecta one five thirteen. But my top pick number one priceless five to two Adam Kirby for Clive Cox who trains his four year old filly out of Exceed and Excel, an Australian bred horse. But uh, most recently on the seventh of, of September at Doncaster, yielding going five furlongs in the listed stakes for Class One horses. This horse destroyed the field, winning by three quarters in length. It was an all out great victory for this horse. You know, it, one of the better races for this horse in 2016 um, because it was her only victory basically but um, you know start four she, she did hold her own in those other races too uh, start four Pontefract on the 14th of August six furlongs and Phillies listed stakes horse finished fourth by four and three quarter lengths that's the uh, it's a little over five to two favorite just just uh, you know just missed that day but um, you know she, she didn't quicken up as fast as other, some of the other horses did so uh, she just missed um, and then at Newmark July 23rd six furlongs on July course and the class two handicap horse from second by head just just missed again that day disappointing beat but she, she ran some nice place finishes last year you know the, a few races you could throw out you could throw out that group three race she ran last April at Ascot that was just a little bit too tough for her but here in this spot she should have a very good run so I'll use her as a top pick. So to recap my bets for the third from Bath, it's the six o'clock post time. I'm gonna go with the one horse priceless. I'm gonna go um, one five thirteen in the tricast of the trifecta. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit Five.